Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Kyle, this is Kyle Plays Games. This is Supermarket Simulator, continuing with my career as having a uh, upstart supermarket. Let's go click on the continue button and let's just get this one going here as it loads up very quickly. Okay, I need to purchase a fridge or self. See, I decided to move my webcam down to the bottom corner because I know that I was uh, blocking out some things. So now you'll be able to see a whole lot more because I don't think anything pops up at the bottom left. How far can I venture here? How far can I venture out before it blocks me? Time isn't advancing at all, so I can do whatever really... Wow. I'm, gonna go, I'm going on an adventure. Let's take a look see just how far this map goes. It might just go into like a street block. That's probably it. Yeah, it looks like it's just going around a block. I think that's all it is here. We're just... I'm going to break the game. I'm going to break the uh, immersion because it looks like that it just goes into one block and that's it. Ladder to nowhere. Anyway, let me know what you think about the video in the comments down below. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, help support the channel out. What is this? Food and groceries. Is this my, is this my rival? I'm watching you. I, I've got an eye on this. I will make sure that you... What, what's this camera facing here? Yeah, that camera... That must be the storage. What, is, what does that say? Oh, city gates. Oh, okay. Um, can I ring people's doorbells? Nope. Can't, can't get buzzed in. I am literally just running around because the time is not advancing, so I'm not losing out on any progress. Wait, food and groceries? Food and groceries? Are you in competition with yourself? Is like the same thing here. Do we have a uh, candy and smoke shop corporation? Okay, all right. We have ATM inside and cigarettes and more. I wonder what the end more is. You have me intrigued. Just kind of looking around here. Yo, what is up? Oh my gosh, you are. That was that was scary. That was very scary. How you looked at the. Why do the engines sound like they're just like crankshafts and they're just they're gonna like go out and at any moment like. So bad. How does the ca that car sound similar to the truck? So it's really just a, a dead end street here. Wait, wait that, is this a dead end also? I think it all this is a dead end. There is, okay, there's no way out. Okay, so my okay, so the shop's down there. Let's go down here. Can I go any further? We're not even de dealing with the supermarket simulator anymore. We're doing exploration simulator. I just want to see just like just how far the map is. This is pretty, you know, this is pretty open to world for this being an early access game. I know that you can't really do a whole lot. Okay, so we have a basically a secluded neighborhood. Can't get out. Once you're in, you cannot get out of this area of this neighborhood. You're stuck permanently. No way, no way to escape. It's like an escape room simulator, but only permanent. Okay, looks got a nice little Central Park area. You know what? For what the game is, being early access, it really does have... They did put a lot of work into a bunch of areas that really... Um, they didn't really need to do a whole lot of work to, which I do, do appreciate, you know, making up, you know, like this, like, a randomness of uh, what the... Uh, neighborhood is it could have just been you know it could have been an invisible wall it could have been like you, you go down here and it's like an invisible wall like right here it could have been but no you can actually go on your eyes are scary oh my goodness that is not the face of a friendly person i am so glad that my store is closed wow okay some of these mo some of these facial models are just really weird and that's this is the creepy like you, you don't look like you're supposed to be in this game. Looks like they took a bunch of, like, uh, other NPCs from other games, probably. Like, some free-use ones, and it's, like, put them in. Because some of them look like they're just, like, generic models, and other ones look like they're, like, really detailed in. Alright, let's get back into the store here. Cause we, already, we already explored everywhere around the neighborhood. No other area to explore. I should have a trophy in order to be able to, uh, be for, like, exploring the entire neighborhood. Okay, let's go ahead and purchase a fridge or a shelf. Let's go to market furniture. 
fridge or shelf? You know, we're going to do a fridge. So we have... How much money do I have? I don't even know how much money I have on me. Um, oh. Duh. It's at the top corner. $707. Good thing I don't have my webcam blocking that. You wouldn't be able to see it. So we want to do... Let's just go ahead and do a fridge. What do I... No, no, no. We're, already, we're still small time. So let's go ahead and just do one fridge. Let's add that to the cart. And let's purchase that. Purchase a new section using your computer to expand your store. What? A new section? What's a section? Is this, is this another management? Row. Oh, section. $350. Purchase a section to expand your supermarket. Expand by 4x4 four by four meters. Required store level is 4. I am barely at that. I just got there. $350. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, well, I guess I got to do that. Okay. So now we have to cry about the fact that we just lost so much money. Uh, what, what happened there? What happened there? There's something moved. Something moved. There's a men in black dude. Secret FBI guy. Oh. Well, that's just great. Can we can we move this? Can we carry this? We're going to uh, move this to right here. A little back. No. There we go. Let's go ahead and move this to right here. I still won't be able to see everything when it comes to the stuff in the store. I'm so OCD when it comes to uh, everything here. Okay, so... What I could do is I could can I move this? I could carry I could move this. Ooh. I kinda like I kinda like this idea. I like this can I move this at all? I can't carry this. Ah. Alright, okay. I do I do have an idea. I have an idea. And it's going to be involving a lot of uh, moving around a bunch of things. So that's not going to be permanent. But I do want to, let's move this. We're going to, let's, let's rotate this. There we go. Let's rotate this to the back wall. Let's go ahead and move this. to right here, as close as possible to the other shelf. There we go. And I'm gonna move this. Let's go ahead and rotate this to, oh, no way, that doesn't work out. That doesn't work out. I gotta, gotta like put it like really close to here. That could work. It's still red, it's still red. Okay, green there, red. Okay, maybe I can't do what I was thinking about doing because of how it's set up. So this will have to go back into its original spot. I'm going to try to close the gap. Close the gap a little bit. There we go. All right, well, that did not work out how I had planned for it. So I'm just going to go back to uh, plan number one. You know, that's what, you gotta, that's what you gotta learn about for these store layouts. You gotta figure out what works and what doesn't. And sometimes it's trial and error, and other times it is just plain stupidity. Put that there, and I need this. It's a fridge in a box. And let's open this. It looks so sad. It looks so sad. Um, um, yeah, it looks really sad. Um, <laughs> it's just a plank. It's just a blank spot. Um, 
I'm gonna pick this thing up and uh, no, I can't. I can't. I shouldn't do that. Leave it here. Just leave it here. I was gonna like put it right here, but I'm like no because then like I have no way to actually get to get the customers like from not stealing. That did not work out as planned. However, no, you know, just stop, stop worrying about it. You got to order food. Order some items. Gotta go to market. We need products. So, let's get ourselves the refrigerated stuff. Let's add this to the cart. Add that to the cart. Coffee dark growth. Okay, add that. Eggs, milk, and tea black. Don't have enough money. Can I take out another load? Nope, pay off early. Nope, I can't do that. I cannot do that. Market. So I need to take out the most expensive item. Actually, yeah, I do need to take out the most ex No, 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 no. I, uh, yep, actually, let's take out the, ex let's take that out. I can afford it. I have $24 left to my name. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, let's purchase that. And let's hope that we can pay off everything. Hopefully everything works out. That's, uh, that's leaning. All right, let's open this. And this is copy, so. Does that go in here? Oh, it does go in here. Probably just place it on a shelf. Well, why can't I put it on a shelf? Oh, I'm too close. And I'm gonna place this down here, throw it. That got some hang time. Now I need to check the price. Set the price, okay, average cost 255. Market price is 578. We are definitely gonna change this over. We're going to do uh, $6. Okay, there was something else that changed too. Market price, this needs to be uh, $5 now. I need to make some money. And market price for this, let's do $6 because I'm tired of doing the 99 cents. And this should be 5 This is okay. This is fine. It's the same price, the same stuff, okay. And that's the same stuff, so that's $5, yeah. It changed for me anyway. Okay, this needs to change to $3.50. $3.50. That is... Okay. Okay, the market price changed for this one, so I could, actually I could lower it if I wanted to, but you know what, let's keep it like that. Well, actually we're gonna make it $4 so that uh, makes it all even, and this thing also $4. And it's one last thing, and that is here, that's three fifty. I can't move it anywhere else. Okay, next item. We have milk. And it's gonna throw that off there. Can't throw it there. Uh, throw it there. Okay. And what's the milk cost? Two forty. That's gonna to have to be a three dollar price. What's next? Eggs. Eggs need to be refrigerated. I should have got the bigger... Oh, I, that's fine. That is fine. Go up there. And eggs are 4 78 My goodness, that is expensive. A $6 one? $6 for eggs. $6. No. Um... Sorry about that. Uh, I could not believe that. It was six bucks for eggs. All right, so what's the next one? We have, what is this? I don't even know what this is. It needs to be placed in the fridge, okay. No idea what this thing is. This is, oh, teats. Okay, average price three forty four dollars $4. 
And bottled water. Can I fit all the bottled water? I can't. Display is full. Can I put it in? Can I put it on the shelf? Needs to be in the fridge. Oh, fine. Okay, fine. We just got toss that there, and we're going to get rid of everything else. Throw that away. I do actually do need to adjust these prices so I could be able to make a little bit more money on it. So I do need to do uh, four dollars here, and this is four. Okay, that's. I guess that's okay. Four dollars on this. That's a little too cheap. Four fifty. We're gonna experiment a little bit here. Got to make a little bit more profit here. Six dollars. This needs to be seven. Man, the the price of this cereal is outrageous. Six dollars here, and that's uh, this needs to be seven. I need to make at least a dollar on this stuff, I would believe. That's four. Let's keep the pasta at that. Keep the bread there. Okay, so the milk. I guess we'll do that. Just experiment with it. Six dollars there. Four dollars. Close enough. And then we have the water. Wow. Two sixty-six for it. So that's got to be three fifty. All right, let's open the shop and let's see what we can get. Come to my store, give me your cash or card. I don't care, I need money. I am so poor right now. Come to my store. Do I need to be on the storefront here? Anyone, anyone at all. I have to change the name of this. It says supermarket. Do I need to change the name eventually? Already an hour has gone by and nobody has come into my, my market. Come buy my stuff. Come in. Yes, thank you. First customer of the day. Flour was too expensive. Okay, all right, well. Let's see what you say. Coffee. Get the flour, okay. All right. We have a card, and it's 1750. All right. More coffee, we have cash. So we need no tanks. Okay, we're good. Um, oh, approve, okay. This reaches in to the cooler. There's no, like, the, no door animation. All right, so change 50 cents, 50 cents. Okay, there we go. All right, so one customer turned away because the flour was too expensive. However, the fl I mean, prices do change. So I just, you just gotta deal with the that situation. At least I'm up almost, okay, a bottle of water is too expensive for me. Okay, well, buy something else, please. Thank you very much. The cereal. You should probably get some milk. I think I carry milk. I don't know what you said. It was too expensive. Okay, flour's too expensive for her. She's leaving. Oh, wow. You got a lot of stuff. Okay, on the card, $34. That is simple, easy, breezy. Beautiful. There we go. Can't see the rest of that, of that line. More coffee. And that's all? That's all from you? Okay. Cash. And it changed at $36. What, what the what the heck? I really have to be careful so I don't click on the wrong thing. 36 bucks. You know, you know for having $118 uh, in the bank here, I certainly have a lot of money in this drawer. Okay. All right. Another, another satisfied customer, hopefully. All right, and change nothing. Okay, good. We're gonna be experiencing the stockouts, maybe. Thirty-one fifty. 
All right, more flower, card, and nine dollars. Okay, how are we looking right now on everything? How are we looking? Okay, things are looking good. Okay, we got plenty in stock. We got plenty in stock right now. Nothing to worry about. Well, I have a couple customers that didn't quite like what uh, what I had, uh, you know, for pricing. Not a bad thing. Fourteen fifty. Fourteen fifty. It's all about capitalism, people. All about capitalism. Couldn't find. Uh, if I don't, it's, it's right there. It was right there. I carry everything, so I don't know. I mean, you must be blind. You might need to get your eyes checked instead of spending money on groceries. Come back, come back to my store again, please. I mean that. I mean I, that is coffee, right? Oh, tea. Okay, that's tea. Um, so I don't have coffee. What the heck, I don't have the coffee? Oh, that's right, yeah, I, I, that's right, I couldn't afford it. You look different. 18. And some bread, card, $8. Okay, we're gonna turn on some lights. It's gonna get dark here pretty soon. It is uh, 5 p.m. Got about four hours left in the supermarket being open. Surprisingly enough, I did not need a break. Okay, change one dollar. There you go. Oh man, that is that's super bright. Uh, I did not take into account that the sun was gonna be reflecting off of the counter. Too expensive for him. Okay, that's fine. All right. Teas and four dollars. Couldn't find the dark roast coffee because I don't carry it. I'm not advertising it, so why are you saying I'm not carrying it? Why are you complaining for me not carrying it? It's it's nighttime. Why are you still wearing sunglasses? Fifteen. See, it's the thing with like uh, the whole supply and demand thing in there. Sometimes it, it, people are not going to be able to afford certain items, but you have to make a profit on things, you know? In order to be able to stay in business. Okay, flower, card, 450. I'm trying to make things a lot easier for me without doing the 99 cents, you know? $1. Okay, open for about another hour. Hopefully we don't have to deal with any kind of stock outs here. I don't think so. I think we're going to be okay. I think we're going to be okay. I mean, I got two selves worth of every item. Except, of course, the fridge. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Cash. And we're good. Whole lot of stuff. That's a huge haul there. One dollar. Well, made up some cash. Definitely have made up some cash. I'm going to get one more customer before the day is over with. I don't think so. I like how the fact that the uh, bird's still chirping. Meanwhile, it's 9 p.m. Are you coming in? Yes, you are. I will take it. I will stay open for you. That's $7. Yes, I will stay open for you guys. You're looking quite dapper. Good. Eggs and cereal. What do we have you? One dollar tanks. All right, looks like we're done with everything here. I'm starting to run out of teas. I need to uh, close up, and I need to stack up this water. Let's go ahead and put this water in here. Still can't do that. Okay, well, that sucks. All right, let's go ahead and just like drop it. All right, so I think we made a little over two hundred dollars for the day. So we're gonna be struggling a little bit. We have to order some more some more food, 
and uh, just gonna have to deal with the fact that the prices are gonna have to be a little bit tacked up in order to be able to handle the next day. So let's go ahead and finish this day off and let's see what the next day brings us. But I think that's gonna be it for this one here. Let's go ahead and see what, what is up. So products not found two, products found expensive, eight. So, uh, but you know, we didn't do any kind of sort of Satisfy customer 16 still, the, we got a high, we got an overall good score. Total profits down because of the investment of the upgrade costs and supply costs. But we got a bounce of $338. So that just means that, you know, that we're, we're still good. You know, like we have, we are at a profit. So we're, we're still doing good. All right, so nothing's changed for the fourth day here, but you know, this is gonna be a bit of a shorter video. I'm not gonna do like an hour long video for this one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, save this. It's saving right now. And let's go ahead, go back to the main menu. Hope you enjoyed the video. I do. I am enjoying this game, and I'm gonna continue playing this one and uh, to see just how far and how deep I can get into this game, considering it is early access. But another successful uh, marketing venture, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, start uh, supplying all of the uh, goods that we could be able to provide. But I think I'm gonna have to start getting some more selling units and. Uh, yeah, it just did all about all about investments and getting and being able to get that return on the investment without going bankrupt. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like on the video. Be sure to share the video and subscribe to the channel. And uh, also uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video in the, in the comments down below. The music cut off on me and I did not know what was going on. Uh, if you'd like to watch any of these videos happen live, link is in the description down below for my Twitch channel. And be sure to follow along on Twitch so you do not miss out on when I go live. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.